So what's good, y'all? We back in here with another video. And with the draft being finished and offseason officially kicking into the next stage, with free agency being right around the corner, I thought now would be the perfect time to talk about the biggest free agent rumor going around the league right now. And that's the rumor of Dallas Mavericks guard Jalen Brunson potentially leaving to go play in New York for the Knicks next season. Now, if you watched the NBA this past season, you'd obviously know that Jalen Brunson had a good year for Dallas, averaging 16 points per game, 4 boards, and 5 assists a night on efficient shooting numbers, and really showed how good he is when Luka was out for the first few games versus the Jazz in the first round, had multiple great performances, including a 41-point game in Game 2, and was a big reason why the Dallas Mavericks went to the Western Conference Finals. So you can say the playoffs were a big reason why his value is higher than it originally was because without that playoff run, I don't think he's getting the money that he's expected to get. But with all that in mind, I'm not going to say Brunson doesn't deserve to get paid this offseason because he does, but it looks like one team is desperately trying to go after him and that team is New York Knicks who have been on the Brunson hunt all season long. They've made it obvious he is their main target this offseason. And now this is their chance to acquire him in free agency. But the question I have is, are the Knicks overpaying for Jalen Brunson? Because the most recent reports going around is that the New York Knicks are preparing to offer him a four-year deal and the price being anywhere from $100 to $110 million. And I just don't know if it's worth it from a Knicks perspective. I know they've needed a point guard for years now, and it's been so long since they had a quality point guard who's young and can be an impactful starter. But I take a lot of things into consideration when it comes to the Knicks situation, because I know this team like the back of my hand. And I just feel like from a basketball standpoint, yes, it makes sense. You fill a need of having a lead guard. Also, you get a guy that can actually create for himself and be efficient unlike the Knicks' two best players this season in RJ Barrett and Julius Randle who both shot around 40% as a whole and shot in the low 30s from three. So Brunson can make life easier for them next season. But here's the thing. First of all, you have a guard that can produce at almost the same exact level in my opinion in Emmanuel quickly. If you give him starter minutes, I think he can contribute on like the same level and he's still under a rookie contract. But I feel like they're just kind of holding quickly ceiling down to like this six man role instead of giving him that starting opportunity. I mean, look at the situation this past year. Instead of giving him the starting nod, they gave Alec Burks the starting point guard responsibilities. And I just don't understand that whole perspective of doing that when you got a young player that clearly is a better point guard option than Alec Burks, right? But that's neither here nor there. Not to mention, when I think of the Jalen Brunson situation, I think of Fred Van Vliet's contract extension with Toronto back in 2020. He signed a four-year, $85 million deal. And to be honest, I think realistically, this is Brunson's true value. I think he's around an 85 to 90 million at most for four years kind of guy, rather than paying him over 100 million for a player that's not great, but he's above average, you know, he's above average kind of guy. And I understand that the cap goes up every single year, so obviously it's not going to be 85 million. But I know damn well his value ain't 100 million, or especially 110. But this is what happens when you're trying to go after a restricted free agent. Now they'll likely have to overpay, and they're going to have to hope that if he signs, which to be honest, I think there's a good chance he does, uh, you're going to have to hope that he lives to this larger size contract. So if you ask me what I think the Knicks should do, I would really just prefer giving the homegrown draft picks that they've been selecting these past few years more significant minutes. But as of right now, like I said before, it seems extremely likely that come July 1st in about a week, Jalen Brunson will probably be in a Knicks uniform unless Mark Cuban is willing to go over the top to keep him in Dallas. And to be honest, they got options. It's like if they lose Jalen Brunson, they still got Spencer Dinwiddie. They can still go get a backup two guard and just bump Dinwiddie into that spot. Kyrie Irving is definitely a guy on the board as well for Dallas to go after. So they got options if they do lose Brunson. 
Plus, I would assume if the Knicks and Dallas end up having this go through, it'll probably be a sign and trade. So they'll probably get a guy like Alec Burks anyways, a wing who can play off the bench for that team. So Dallas should be fine either way, even though lo losing Brunson would hurt a little bit. Now, in the Knicks perspective, like I mentioned before, a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered. You know, the draft night, they, they definitely tried to make their best effort to go and clear money for Jalen Brunson, and they still need to make, I think, one more move to do so. But I don't know. I'm a little iffy on the situation right now. I like Jalen Brunson as a player. I think he's pretty good. But I don't know if I'm willing to give him $110 million for four years. But we'll see what happens within a week. Going to be really interesting with the events leading up to free agency between Jalen Brunson and the New York Knicks. Anyways, that's going to do it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down in the description below. This has been The Checkup, where we talk hoops and hoops only. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.